this short video, I'm going to go over triglycerides, why you why they're high, why that's a problem, what you can do to lower them to reduce your risk in the future. Now, first of all, what are triglycerides? They are one of the fat carrying molecules in the blood or lipoproteins. When you get your blood checked, your triglyceride level will be made up of um, a couple of components, something called very low density lipoprotein and something called chylomicrons. If you do it when you're fasting, then you'll have less of the chylomicron triglycerides and more of the VLPL type triglycerides. And basically, it's a fat carrying molecule. The, the problem is, is that higher levels of triglycerides are associated with cardiovascular disease. And when people have higher levels of triglyceride, they also usually have some form of metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, or diabetes, which all in themselves carry an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. And you might ask what metabolic syndrome is, but basically metabolic syndrome is a constellation of um, factors so if you have three out of the five of the following, that is high triglycerides, low HDL, increased waist circumference, high blood pressure, and raised fasting glucose, then you have metabolic syndrome. And it's essentially an insulin resistant or a kind of pre-diabetes type uh, syndrome. So if you've been diagnosed with high triglycerides, what can you do about it? Now, the great thing about triglycerides is that actually they are super respondent to lifestyle um, changes. And unlike most of the other lipoproteins like LDL and HDL, the triglycerides can be modified by lifestyle. So here's the key things that you can do. The first one is lowering your weight. If you lower your weight, you will improve your sensitivity to insulin and your triglycerides will fall. So that's number one. Second one is exercise. Uh, exercise, um, again, lowers triglyceride levels. And that's independent of any weight loss that you do. So if you have these, when you start exercising, what you'll do is you'll improve your insulin sensitivity and actually you'll start to see your triglycerides fall just with exercise by itself. Third one, alcohol. Alcohol really pushes up triglyceride levels. So if you're um, drinking to excess, by cutting back on your alcohol intake, you'll see your, your triglyceride levels will fall. Another thing that you can do um, in terms of... Um, supplements is that basically uh, if you increase your intake of fatty acids like omega-3 fatty acids you can start to bring your triglycerides down you can either do that by eating fatty fish and oily fish or taking an omega-3 supplement which will help help to reduce it now one thing that a lot of people don't talk about is the effects that carbohydrates actually have on insulin and basically when you eat highly proce processed and refined carbohydrates particularly if you're insulin resistant your glucose is pushed into making fats and these fats increase your triglyceride basically are, are seen by increasing triglyceride levels so if you can actually reduce your carbohydrate intake you will start to um, turn off the lipolysis sorry you'll turn off this production of fats you'll improve your insulin sensitivity and actually you'll start to lower your cholesterol um, sorry lower your triglycerides and there's one type of sugar in particular which pushes your triglycerides up, and that's fructose. And fructose is one of the components of sucrose. So fruit, a sucrose molecule, a sugar molecule, made up of glucose and fructose. And fructose um, does increase your um, triglycerides quite considerably. So one thing you need to avoid is processed carbohydrates, anything that contains high fructose corn syrup, anything sweet. And by eliminating and reducing processed carbohydrates from your diet, you should see the triglyceride level fall. So those are the key ways to do it. Just a brief summary, reduce your weight, start exercising, reduce your alcohol, um, omega-3 supplementation, reducing carbohydrates, and in particular, reducing fructose intake, and that should actually bring your triglycerides down.